bättre i min hand. Jag kan röra den. Blodet pulserar i den. Solen står fortfarande högt på himlen. Och jag... Jag, Antonius Block... ...spelar schack med döden. As to Sturdivant's so-called pattern, I can tell you this. He never sacrificed a single man on a diversionary move. Perhaps you know more about him than I do. Your husband's been reminding us of a spy called Sturdivant. After the war, his men ran wild over Eastern Europe. It was almost impossible to flush them out. Still, your husband succeeded. I love to hear about spies. Do tell us about it, please. It was a long time ago. I'm not sure of the details any longer. The colonel is too modest. Imagine. All he actually knew was that three of Sturdivant's men were in a small Polish village, correct? I think so. He had to determine which of the... 2,300 people in the village were the three wanted, so he rounded up the entire population. Began to interrogate and execute each of them one by one. Then it seems that when your husband started killing the children, one of Sturdivant's men tried to make a run for it. He was caught, of course, and your husband was able to make him talk as only he can. Father, everlasting God, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who once and for all consigned that fallen tyrant to the flames of hell, who sent your only begotten Son into the world to crush that roaring lion, hasten to our call for help, and snatch from ruination and from the clutches of the noonday devil this human being made in your image and likeness. Strike terror, Lord, into the beast, now laying waste your image. Let your mighty hand cast him out of your servant, Reagan Therese McNeil, so he may no longer hold captive this person, who it pleased you to make in your image, and to redeem through your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Can I drop you? I'd like to go back to New York. You have not much future there. It would happen this way. You may be walking. Maybe the first sunny day of the spring. And a car will slow beside you. And a door will open. And someone you know, maybe even trust, will get out of the car. And he will smile, a becoming smile. 
but he will leave open the door of the car and offer to give you a lift. After the earthquakes and tidal waves, they won't be quite the human beings you remember. They'll be more tractable, easier for you to rule in the name of Ming. You mean slaves? Let's say they'll be satisfied with less. What about Dale? Dale? We have decided to marry her. She's exceptional. We will breed with her and send our imperial progeny back to populate your earth. You really prefer death to a kingdom? I'm disappointed. I'd much rather see you on my side than scattered into atoms. But as you wish, In 1942, the Nazis thought they were sitting on top of the world, never suspecting that they could be toppled in one conflict, the most unusual battle of the war. It has been decided that a German national team will play a combined team from the prisoners of war of the occupied territories. That's crazy. OK, I'm ready to sign up. Sign up. And you ought to be exhibited in Paris like performing fleas. What about me? Get out. A stacked game. The Third Reich's finest against a ragged bunch of prisoners of war. The Germans thought they had it made. They couldn't run about for 90 minutes. They'd be chucking their guts up. Am I good or am I good? What's your name? You know my name. What's your name? I decided to join the team. The American? No. You use that bloody American style again here and you'll be fired. Look, you're playing every shot play American. Victory. Starring Sylvester Stallone, Michael Caine, Max von Sydow, and introducing Pele. How'd you like to play football against the Germans? Why not? as you are, perhaps it isn't wise for you to uh, associate too closely with us Atreides. On the contrary, I feel very comfortable here. Remember how precious water is here. It was a token of respect. Are you enlisting with us? You see through to the truth of a thing, sire. That means a dual alliance. He's in with the Emperor. A dual alliance? Yes. But not with the Emperor. The Fremen. Then let water be a bond between us.
Hello, Miss Chalmers. Oh, my goodness. What's wrong? Where did you... How long have you been there? Oh, I was just hoping for a cup of coffee. I didn't realize you were closing. Coffee, sure, no problem. You're Mr. Gaunt. And you're Polly Chalmers. I'm sorry, I... Don't shake hands, I have uh... arthritis. Forgive me, I forgot. You've been having a devil of a time with it lately, haven't you? Yes. How did you know? Nettie. Just a tiny thank you note for that remarkable pie. Oh, my lord. I don't think I ever had to taste your cup of coffee. Mm. You wouldn't by any chance have something in the way of a donut. Something I might dunk, Miss Chalmers. Oh, please. We're going to be neighbors. Why don't you call me Polly? Another go, Ned. That's my father. And my uncle Benjamin. Keep your shield up, or I'll ring your head like a bell. They were all so happy. So were you. My Aunt Leanna. I've seen her statue in the crypt. My father never talks about her. <laughs> <laughs> 